Before I begin my speech today, I would like to point out the fact that we have one emergency exit back there, and there's two emergency exits on my left. Dad, please, if everyone leaves, stay. I want to say hello to my mom who's watching online. She couldn't be here, but she sent a lot of love. Hmm, to begin. Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to begin my speech with a quote from the great Canadian philosopher, Aubrey, Aubrey Graham. I mean, I, I know him as just Drake. Drake, the author of What I'm Doing. Aubrey Graham once said, you know when that hotline blings, that can only mean one. I'm joking, seriously? <laughs> Drake once said, sometimes it's the journey that teaches us a lot about the destination. On this note, I would like to thank all of those who have made enormous sacrifices to come share the pinnacle of our high school journey. You have all made very great sacrifices, whether it be the less important things like missing time off work, or sitting on the plane for nearly a day, or the more important things like missing out on March Madness, the US Open, and many more recordable TV events. On behalf of my peers and myself, the graduating class of 2016, these sacrifices are extremely appreciated. To my peers, the graduating class of 2016, you have selected me to be your valedictorian today. Well, most of you have. But this is Canada A, and majority carries the vote. Along with half of my father's bank account. Shout out, Dad. All jokes aside, I'm greatly honored to have been chosen to speak to you all today. And I hope at the end of the speech, you do not use the emergency exits I have listed out for you. To commence, I ask a few of you, what would you like to hear me say today? I suspect that most ideas didn't make it up on stage today. I apologize. However, I would like to commend Bruno's idea. Thank you, Bruno, <laughs> for coming on stage today. So according to Bruno, Baltimore High School was not like the cult classic high school musical. I can attest to this because if anything, I should have been Troy Bolton. But I wasn't. Maybe it was the hair, maybe it was the eyes, or maybe it was the skin tone. If anything, for me, attending Baltimore High School was like purchasing an oversized t-shirt. On the site, it looked extremely gorgeous, and you were determined that your decision would never be second-guessed. However, when it got home, it was a little bit too big. I mean, some of us will say it was way too big, but I'll say it was a little bit too big. With most schools, we'll just wait until we finally fit into the shirt. But that isn't the case with Budwell now, is it? At Budwell, most of us are foreigners. Am I right? It's like talking to my basketball team. Am I right? Yes or no? <laughs> Thank you. I believe I'm right. <laughs> We're also surrounded by a lot of foreigners. So let me paint a picture. We don't speak the language, and we're in a land we don't know about. One of the requirements to graduate is to take Social Studies 11. Bravo, Mr. Smith. And in Social Studies 11, we're expected to learn about the language and the culture. I can speak for everyone here today when I say, at Baltimore, we had to step out of our comfort zones quickly in order to feel comfortable. How many of us have been at Baltimore for a year? Yes, they find you. Okay, how many of us have been at Baltimore for three, four years? Five, six, seven. No seven, right? Thank God. Okay. Uh, except for me. Thank you, Mr. Havis. <laughs> so, in all this, I'm sure we can all agree that the experiences were all that mattered to us. The day we went up to school picnics, the days we went up to leadership camps and prefer camps, we went for dorm activities. We begged for gaming vouchers at the dorm office to play Dota and League of Legends. We stayed up 
very late at night in our halls to have extremely deep, extremely deep, but absolutely meaningless conversations. We made the staff work overtime. If anything, we unified this one body to show our strength and diversity, as per the Bottle slogan. I could go on and on about all the experiences that we made, but I know we all want this ceremony to end as quickly as we wanted it to start. So without any further ado, I'd like to get to my point. The simple fact is that we have made life-lasting relationships we never thought we would have. For example, Miss Kim would always be a Korean aunt, hashtag don't mess with me. And Miss Dolly would always be our Canadian aunt, over sympathetic. <laughs> and Coach Chu will always be our Asian pops, hashtag never satisfied. Like seriously, never. <laughs> no. <laughs> we have met a lot of great mentors. We've met Mr. Burnett, the walk in history lesson. We've met Mr. Hallis, a court jester of the olden days. <laughs> we have been privileged to be taught by teachers who felt privileged to educate us. And on this note, I'd like to share my personal story about how my Bordeaux journey was shaped. So, I came to Bordeaux and I purchased this oversized t-shirt, right? And I expected it to make me look like a flashy superstar right away. Where's the name? Okay. Yeah. I expected it to look like this right away. However, that wasn't the case. Because it didn't take me long to realize that my coach was anti-Troy Bolton. Although I had made it onto the senior basketball team at age 14, I personally chose to enroll in classes of 18 and 19 year olds. And last but not least, I chose not to try out for the soccer team. I apologize, Mr. Graham and Mr. Naismith. Thank you for taking me back. <laughs> uh, in all this, one time during class, I had an altercation with my teacher slash coach, and it led to me getting kicked off the basketball team. This was a problem because Everything I had done since the release of High School Musical 1 was directly related to basketball. I mean, my school was basketball. And we're all in this together, guys. Uh, I'll miss all of you. If anything, in class that day, I learned three very important lessons. And those lessons have helped shape the individual you see here today. Lesson number one was about humility. Before that, I had always felt if I wasn't the center of attention, then something was wrong. And my family over there can attest to this. <laughs> also, I learned a story about making mistakes. So those who have paved the way for us before, all those we have looked up to, our childhood heroes, those we give likes to on Facebook and YouTube. My personal childhood hero, Hannah Montana, or as most of us like to refer to her now, Miley Cyrus. Miley once said, the moment you stop making mistakes is the moment you stop leaving. I can tell she's still living. second to none. And this leads me to my next quote by Nelson Mandela. The glory of an individual is not in never falling, but in rising each time we fall. So to my peers, there'll be a lot of times we'll be down on the ground. But let's appreciate all those who have come out today. Let's appreciate our classmates, our teammates, our teachers, our counselors. Thank you very much for being our standing family. No. Standing family, actually. Thank you very much for being our family. You have been our brothers and sisters. You have been our uncles and aunts. And a handful of you have been our moms and dads. You'll never be forgotten by the class of 2016. 
Also, I would like to thank the kitchen staff for feeding us. I would like to thank the janitorial staff for giving us the best possible environment to make all this possible. I'd like to thank the administrative staff for I would like to thank the administrative staff for administrating us. <laughs> really, if anything, you guys have been our home away from home. Last but not least, I'd like to give a very special thank you to our parents. I'd like to thank my parents. I thank you, Mom. I thank you, Dad. Mom, Dad. Because you have trust You've trusted me, you've trusted us to broaden our horizons. You've given us the chance to embark on our journey with your bank accounts, and that would not have been possible without them. I'd like to thank you for giving us the chance to meet people from all over the world. If I sat here to list all the countries we have, it'll never end. But I'd just like to thank you for giving us the chance to meet great leaders from Russia brothers from Turkey and sisters from Kazakhstan. We've made best friends from Japan. We've met adventurous Germans from Venezuela. We met potential business partners from China, Stephen Song. <laughs> Last but not least, we know the difference between China and Taiwan. Thank you, Sophie, <laughs> thank you. young lady from Switzerland. And even the Nigerians I have met here have been special. But that is what Bud was all about, being special. In conclusion, finally. <laughs> <laughs> if we leave here today, let us remember one thing. An old African proverb says, if there is no enemy within, then the enemy outside can do us no harm. Graduates, my friends, my family, my new family. The people we surround ourselves with are most likely the person we're going to become. So let us choose wisely, because we are the authors of our own story. We are the sculptors of our masterpiece. And most importantly, we are the creators of our own dreams. So let us dream big. Farewell. I will wish you luck, but you don't need luck. You just need your dreams. So dream on. Thank you.